Back home, the Central Appraisal District, Travis Central Appraisal District's chief appraiser announced today that the office just started sending out notices of this year's values. The appraisals are a lot higher than they were last year, 56% over the past year. But the chief appraiser noted on the website that changes in market values do not directly change property tax bills. The change would depend on the tax rates set by local governments and school districts. The deadline to file a protest is May 15th or 30 days after a notice has been mailed, whichever one is later. I think everybody's taxes have more than doubled, some have tripled. If you're over 65 and you're living on a fixed income like I am, uh, it, it's painful. Now there could be some property tax relief for Texans just like that gentleman. State lawmakers are working on the plan right now, but the House and Senate proposals don't exactly line up. And Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the leader of the Senate, says he is not willing to compromise on his plan. We can negotiate on just about everything, but I do not negotiate on bad math. So here's the difference. The House approved a plan that aims to control tax bills by putting a 5% cap on how much a home's taxable value can rise each year. Right now, the appraisal cap is 10%. The Senate's plan would raise the homestead exemption from $40,000 to $70,000. That's the amount of a home's value that is exempt from property taxes. There is a challenge with appraisal caps. You know, they don't uh, limit property taxes overall. If I've owned my house and I've lived in it for 20 years, my taxes have been capped at a fairly low level. Person moves into the neighborhood and buys the house across the street from me, our homes may be identical, but my property tax bill could be a third of what their property tax bill is. Now, the two chambers do agree on setting aside about $17 billion for these tax cuts.